Elon Musk Neurotech just revealed that he is using animals for making bug bots as part of a trial phase. Bug bots, hmm, what are they and how do these bots work? Let's know. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about Elon Musk's ambition to build a disastrous bug bot. Making an insect scale bot is quite an easy task for him, as he is an AI praiser himself. First, let's take a look at Elon Musk's autopilot vehicles that work on the principle of artificial intelligence. As Elon has stated numerous times, a human is nothing more than two cameras, eyes, mounted on a gimbal, neck, with an onboard computer, brain, and we are capable of driving a vehicle with so few accidents that insurance can cover the difference, allowing us to live in today's complex world of transportation. A Tesla vehicle has cameras and multiple other sensors on all sides, so it should theoretically be able to do the job far better than two gimbal cameras. The most serious issue, however, is that AI has yet to master an understanding of the real world around it. But is it the most difficult problem for AI to solve? Well, not for Elon Musk, as he is working on a new AI technology with the name of BugBot that would completely transform the world in many more ways by understanding the hazardous environment around it. Elon Musk has recently hinted at using animals for a trial purpose. These BugBots, as the name indicates, would be insect-looking robots, tiny, highly versatile, and extremely strong. These robots are designed to be used in disaster situations. But why insects? Well, according to the study, Insects like locusts can quickly distinguish between the smells of various explosives. But before sending a locust into a field to be used as a bomb-sniffing bug, there are a few technical challenges that must be overcome. Is there a way to direct the locust to tell it where to sniff? Is there a way to read the locust's brain to figure out what they're smelling? Because they can't speak, yet. Do locusts even have the ability to detect explosives? Let's see. Previous research from Washington University in St. Louis has demonstrated the ability to control locusts as well as the ability to read their brains to figure out what they're smelling. The third question has now been answered, thanks to new research from McKelvey School of Engineering. Researchers demonstrated how they were able to hijack a locust olfactory system to both detect and discriminate between different explosive scents within a few hundred milliseconds of exposure. In a pre-proof, published online on August 6th in the journal Biosensors and Bioelectronics X. They were also able to improve a previously developed biorobotic sensing system that could detect the locusts firing neurons and relay the information to researchers in a way that informed them about the smells the locusts were detecting. We weren't sure if they'd be able to smell or pinpoint the explosives because they have no ecological significance, said Barini Rahman, a biomedical engineering professor. It's possible they didn't pay attention to any of the cues that were important to us in this case. The locust buzzed into position with a chittering of wings and a flickering of antennae. The swarm buzzed across the road after being freed from their cage, their senses tuned and trained to the scent of TNT. The improvised explosive device, hidden beneath the loose cardboard and a fake paper mache rock near the corner of the street, first one lands, then another. Like a game of minesweeper, the swarm monitor plots the location on a table and waits for the swarm to identify more hidden hazards. Now this is where AI comes in. Working with a micro to milli robotic platform introduces a slew of new power, navigation, and control challenges could all be done with the help of AI. The development of Microelectrochemical Systems, or MEMS, additive manufacturing, piezoelectric actuators, and low power sensors is already benefiting mall robot research but miniaturizing robots to millimeter scale is being hampered by a lack of development in other areas. As Elon Musk says, this project aims to address this problem by focusing on actuator materials and mechanisms, components that allow and control movement, as well as new power storage solutions that allow for independent maneuverability. Elon Musk's team says, while the goal of this project is to develop small-scale independent robotic platforms, we anticipate the discoveries made through our actuator and power storage research could prove beneficial to a number of fields currently constrained by these technical challenges from prosthetics to optical steering. Moreover, our land and skies are built with AI robots. Now is an excellent time to develop underground or ground bug bots to aid the US Army's reconnaissance efforts. The Pentagon's research arm is looking into how certain insects could aid in the development of new artificial intelligence technologies. The US military has long experimented with new AI applications, ranging from missile systems to drone swarms, but the latest focus appears to be on understanding how nature's complexities might shape strategies in this field. 
nature has forced drastic miniaturization and energy efficiency on these small insects, with some having only a few hundred neurons in a small form factor while maintaining basic functionality. These organisms may be able to exhibit increased subjectivity of experience, extending simple lookup table responses to potentially AI-relevant problem solving. This new area of tech could lead to systematic or entirely new ways of inferring, predicting, generalizing, and abstracting problems in order to find solutions to compelling problems. Furthermore, the Elon Musk team said, the microbrain project was designed to figure out whether understanding highly integrated sensory and nervous systems in miniature insects help us develop smaller, lighter, more power-efficient AI systems. This is difficult, but not impossible, and considering Elon Musk and him as a tech mogul, we can't question what is happening. In the process of making bug bots, Elon Musk takes notes from Washington University. They now know that locusts could detect and distinguish between various explosives. But in order to find a bomb, a locust would need to know which direction the odor was coming from. The odor box and locust mobile are introduced. You know how that coffee smells stronger when you're close to a coffee shop and less when you're farther away. We are looking at that, Elon Musk's team explained. The locust sat in a tiny vehicle and the explosive vapors were injected through a hole in the box. Researchers observed the locust's odor-related brain activity as it was driven around sniffing different concentrations of vapors. The differences in vapor concentration were reflected in the signals sent by the bug's brain. The system for transmitting the locust brain activity had to be improved next. To do the least amount of harm to the locusts while keeping them stable enough to accurately record their neural activity, the team devised a new surgical procedure from attaching electrodes that did not obstruct their movements. Within 500 milliseconds, the neural activity of a locust exposed to an explosive smell was resolved into a discernible, odor-specific pattern thanks to their new instrumentation. We can now implant the electrodes, seal the locusts, and transport them to mobile environments. The team explained, the environment could one day be one where Homeland Security is looking for explosives. The concept isn't as strange as it appears. This isn't all that dissimilar from the days when coal miners used canaries. Pigs are used to locate truffles. It's a similar concept using a biological organism, but it's a little more advanced. Elon Musk has always been an AI lover as we know his Tesla's autopilot feature and TeslaBot, the next generation of automation, which includes a bipedal humanoid robot that can perform dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks, are a product of it. Not leaving the Dojo chips behind, the Dojo system will be powered by AI training chips. From the smallest training nodes to multi-die training tiles, use cutting-edge technology and also the deep neural networks on problems ranging from perception to control using cutting-edge research. The per camera networks perform semantic segmentation, object detection, and monocular depth estimation by analyzing raw images. As Tesla has mentioned on their site, we develop and deploy autonomy at scale in vehicles, robots, and more. We believe that an approach based on advanced AI for vision and planning, supported by efficient use of inference hardware, it is the only way to achieve a general solution for full self-driving and beyond. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.